viewers. This is um, your host, Mr. Sibamba. So today we are doing um, eye swabbing. So eye swabbing, uh, we need to know uh, what it means and what we do under eye swabbing. So it's a procedure under ophthalmology. So under ophthalmology, you've got different different conditions that will bring a patient to your ward. So then, what does it mean to say eye swabbing? It means that um, you need to swab the eye. But then what is swabbing again? So swabbing is uh, cleaning out. So when you speak of swabbing, it's a word which means you need to clean out or to clear out. So to clear out with what? It means you have to clear out with a swab or a mop. Okay? So it means to clear out with a swab or a mop. So that's swabbing. To clear out with a swab or a mop. Then what are you clearing? The eye. Okay, so it's simple as that. You need to clean or clear out the eye using a swab. So that's what we do. Okay, so that's eye swabbing. Then, wh why should we clean this eye? Okay, why should we clean it? Because we can't just wake up today and say, I'm going to clean your eye. There should be something prompting you to clean this eye. So what should enable someone to clean that eye has to be, say, you need to instill eye drops. You need to instill eye drops, you need to clean it. Say a patient has come back from theatre, so a post-operative patient, you need to clean that eye. Say this patient has got um, conjunctivitis, conjunctivitis, you know that there will be eye discharge, so you need to clear out or clean out this eye. So those are the... You need to clear out the eye. Okay, so that's what we do under eye swabbing. Then, so let's look at uh, some aspects which we need to consider as we clean the eye. Okay, so let's look at Mr. Mwewa here. Mr. Mwewa, let's see if we can try to sit up. So Mr. Mwewa's eye, though it's not um, a good eye, okay, so I can use my assistant's eye, because Mr. Mwewa's eye, you cannot see. You can come through. So, uh, if you look at the eye, the eye has got parts. So, if you look at this part here, the angle here, this angle, we're going to call it the inner canthus. So, this angle here, inside near the nose here, we're going to call it the inner canthus. Just this angle, inner canthus. You wrote about this angle here. So this angle here, we're going to call it the outer canthus. So we've got two. Inner canthus, outer canthus. So what about if um, my assistant closes this eye? So then there's a line there. Okay? That line between the upper and lower eyelid. Okay? That line between the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid it's called the palpebral fissure. Palpebral fissure, so that's what it's called. So that's the palpebral fissure. And then it's, there's upper eyelid, lower eyelid. Okay, so again, when you look at another aspect, we're going to refer to as we clean nasotemporal direction. So when we say we're going to clean in a nasotemporal direction, so nasotemporal direction goes in from the nose, the temporal bone so the temporal bone is here okay this aspect and then the, the nose is here so we're going to clean from the nasal temporal direction so nasal temporal so meaning from the inner canthus to the outer canthus that's how we clean this eye okay nasal temporal direction because the temporal bone is here then the nose is here so nasal temporal direction that's the direction so as we clean you're going to notice that um, our technique still stands Top, bottom, okay, then inside out. So we start with um, the palpebral fissure, then that's when we go from uh, the upper eyelid to the lower eyelid, okay, but temporal, sorry, nasal temporal direction. We're going to maintain that. Thank you very much. Okay, having discussed that, now let's start the procedure. So the procedure begins by 
washing hands. So meaning all that you have you're supposed to remove because you'll be required to do this procedure in five minutes for the cadres who are doing um OSC, it's five minutes. So five minutes meaning you find everything set in advance. So you need to remove all what you have in your hands, your wristwatch, as well as your ring. Okay. And your nails should not be long because you're supposed to scrub. Then let's look at our trolley. So if you look at our trolley, we have this flannel. So this is for hand drying or hand drying towel. Then we've got a drape here. This drape is for covering the patient because it's a sterile procedure. Then we have sterile gloves. We're going to use sterile gloves when cleaning the eye. We also have a ball of cotton wool and gauze. It's a big ball, so we're supposed to use it for cleaning as well. Then we've got a gully pot there. That's why we're going to pour cool boiled water. So in this case, we're using cool boiled water, not normal saline. Then we've got another receiver. This receiver, that's why we'll put pre-squeezed swabs. Then we have a big receiver there. This big receiver, in case there's need for eye irrigation, the procedure changes, in case there's too much, you know, discharge, we're going to use it. Okay, so that's why we put it there in that pack. Then we go down. Our bottom shelf has got um, cool boiled water. That's the solution we're going to use when cleaning. Then we have um, an incontinent sheet we're going to cover the patient as we clean to prevent soiling the clothes or linen. Then we have a ball. This ball, we're going to use it for discarding the, uh, the, the drapes as we finish using them. Then we have a big receiver. This receiver, it's for the swabs. The used swabs that we're using on the patient, we're going to discard them on that big receiver. So we're not going to discard used swabs on the floor. Okay. So after having introduced um, the trolley, now we're supposed to start the procedure. So as the procedure need to be quick, because as for you, you need to do it in five minutes. Even on the word, you don't need to take long. You don't need to spend much time, okay? As you do the procedure. You don't need to spend much time. So let's uh, start. We start with hand washing. Just a simple one. Okay, so you need to be quick. You need to be quick, so you need to just be quick. Okay. You do the, the procedure in five minutes, so you have to be quick. So you need to close and go. Okay. You need to come to Mr. Mwewa. Hello. So, Mr. Mwewa, good morning. Was responded. Good morning. I'm calling Sirwamba. I've come to clean your eyes because we've seen that the, your eyes are dirty. So we're going to use some instruments that are here so that uh, we clean your eye. Okay. Are you going to allow us to go ahead? Yes. So after having allowed us to go ahead with my group, with my assistant, then I have to at least check what am I looking for. I'm looking for at least. Um, something that maybe I should prepare because it's an assessment so I have to look around so I've seen okay the, how much discharge is there so I know the swabs to prepare okay anything that I can check here okay where sleeping is dry and it's comfortable okay so after having done that I have to tell him Mr. Mo I'll be right back let me just prepare my equipment so it's a OSC scenario so instruments are ready so the only thing that I need to put is um, the solution. And if the solution is there, which is cool boiled water, I have to now ask Mr. Mwewa to sit up. Okay? So Mr. Mwewa, can you sit up? So at this moment, I'll ask my assistant to help Mr. Mwewa to sit up. Okay. So I'm going to use um, a backrest so that we can make Mr. Mwewa sit up. Okay. So Mr. Moa is in a sitting up position, then you have to cover, you know, to protect linen. Mm -hmm. So we need to drip that, at least linen is protected. Okay, 
So after having done that, then that part of um, now sterility comes in up to scrub. So the scrubbing, we've emphasized in OSC, you don't need to spend more time because you only have a few minutes to do the procedure. So, as usual, you need to go to the hand washing tap, uh, one washing facility there, then you open. So only limited number of times you're going to wash. So you go with me, so you have to just go in, one, you count to come out, then two, you count to come out, then you just get soap and put there, and then just do that, lock, Okay, after locking, then go one, one way, okay, then you go in one way, then you go another side one way, then my assistant will close. So meaning, there you only spend about five seconds, six seconds, you are done. Then again, you get your hand drying towel. So the drying towel, again, we have to follow the technique. Okay, it has four corners. So follow the same technique we've been showing you, which you have to hold there, this bigger chunk, then come here, start with your tips, and then go in like that. So this corner has worked. Since it has worked, I have to shift to the second corner, which is this corner. Okay? So this corner goes outside. Goes outside, then go round, 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 round. That's all. Then I have to do the same to the other arm. So I start with the hand. So the tips. Okay. The tips. They are dry. So this is this is all. And I have to go to this other corner. Okay. So meaning all the corners have been utilized. So again, outside. Okay. And have to go round, 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 round. Then you have to get this cloth or the hand towel and then discard it there. So you can simply throw it down there. Okay. So I mean it's gone in. The next thing is the grabbing technique. So the grabbing technique, we've been showing you the grabbing technique. You have to just go there and open up. Okay. Open up and then get the glove. You're not touching this part here, the inside, but you're going to touch the inside part of the glove, but not here where you're going to work from. Okay, so you touch there. So this the gloving technique still stands. Okay, like that. Then you go, you grab. Okay. So you need just to know the grabbing technique, which is simple, okay? Then you get this and discard down there, okay? So if it has fell to go in, you can push it there, okay? Then the next thing that you do is just to get your swabs, okay? So your swabs are supposed to be at least enough for you to finish the procedure, okay? So you can get the swabs, put in cupboard water on the receiver, cupboard water, the receiver, board water on the receiver. At least I need um, four swabs each eye. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, so you prepare enough swabs so that you don't get back to prepare. So there are about uh, eight swabs there. After having prepared the swabs, I have to drip. So draping technique still stands. I have to go there and do that and push it there. And I can hold, if I want to move it, I can hold there where it's there. Okay. There, thereafter, I have to now start swabbing, which is very simple because all is done. So swabbing. These two hands should not meet, okay? The two hands should not meet. So when I pick a swab, I have to just drop. So then here the question is, which eye should I start with? The furthest eye. So the, fur the furthest eye is this eye here, not here. This is the nearest eye. 
So the furthest is here. So I have to start. Now when starting, we already agreed, you have to start with the palpebral fissure. So the palpebral fissure, it means that Mr. Moore has to close the eye or his eyes. So Mr. Moore, kindly close your eyes. So Mr. Moore has closed his eyes. Then I have to move the direction we agreed. We agreed nasal temporal direction. So I have to start like that. Okay. Then rolling the swab. Okay. Up to there. So I repeat. So uh, imagine I haven't used this one, this swab. I start from the nasal temporal direction. So inner canthus to outer canthus. Inner canthus, outer canthus. Or so nasal temporal direction. So I have to go like that. Okay. Then discard in that receiver. Pick another one like that. No meeting. So like that, I have to drop. Then Mr. Mark, open your eye. The eye is open. Mm -hmm. Then upper eyelid. Upper eyelid, you have to rotate the swab. Okay. Up to there. So I started from the inner canthus, outer canthus. Okay. Again. Mr. Mark, keep your eye open. Then Mr. Moore's eye is open. They have to start from inner canthus, outer canthus as well. Lower eyelid. So meaning, this eye has been cleaned. And the eye is clean. I'm satisfied the eye is clean. So I have to come now to the nearest eye. So nearest eye, the same. Mr. Moore closed the eye. He has closed his eye. So again, palpebral pressure, which is nasal temporal direction again. Inner canthus, outer canthus. So we go. Like that. Okay. You drop. Again, Mr. Mola, open your eye. You start upper eyelid, inner canthus, outer canthus. Like that. Okay. Mr. Mola, keep your eye open. So we go to the lower eyelid. Okay? Mm -hmm. Inner canthus, outer canthus. Okay? So we are finished cleaning. Now you can see that um, the, the surrounding is wet. Okay, so you can simply clean or dry just with a swab because there is some cobalt water which dropped here. Okay, just down there. You can clean or dry. Okay, so meaning we have finished cleaning eyes. Mr. Moa, thank you very much for allowing us to clean the eye. So what we are going to do is that um, we will be coming to instill eye drops there. And if you feel that uh, maybe there is some irritant in your eye, you should call us so that we come and check you out or clean your eye. Thank you very much and stay safe. Okay, so this is when you can also remove these drips. And you can also remove the control sheet. If you want to be in a sitting up position, you can remain in a sitting up position. If you want to lie down, you can lie down. Okay, so at this moment, it says you want to remain seated. Thank you very much. Uh, for watching so hope you have um, got something and you have learned something so keep learning thank you